another aspect of cosmic law that Nanak calls it Hukum. Past two sessions I have been speaking on cosmic law. We think that there is someone, an elderly person sitting in heaven that we call Allah or God or by any other name and that controls and does everything. This is very childish. Psychologists say man does not grow beyond the age of five as far as his understanding is concerned. We grow physically, not in awareness. Nanak says that there is no person like God. Instead, there is a law, cosmic law. That Hindu scriptures, Veda, says that is Rik, the essence. Muslims say that no, it is through the light that God created. Bhagavad Gita confirms that in the fourth chapter, Krishna says, because Bhagavad Gita is a part of yoga. He says, this knowledge, this awareness, this understanding, first I gave to sun. Sun is symbolic of life, symbolic of nur. And from there, it came to Manu. It is another Hindu aspect and Manu means the mind, the lawgiver. Because it is the mind that gives the law, makes the law. And from Manu, it comes to Ikshvaku. Ikshvaku refers to the one who toils, who tills the soil. Now, sun represents the light or awareness or understanding. First, the understanding when it comes. The moment you turn on your electric appliance, the electric current is already flowing into it. But in between the electric current and the electric appliance, there is a switch. The moment you turn on that switch, the current begins to flow and activate the brain of that particular electrical appliance and it begins to manifest the quality of the electric current. So too, the light comes into us in the form of thoughts. First a thought comes, when thought descends at the level of organs of perception and organs of action, which is known as karmendriya and jnanendriya, the organs of action and organs of perception, then a toiling begins. A thought to come to your mind is very easy, that let us go and have a lunch outside. Very simple, nothing goes in getting a thought. Now, in order to execute that thought, you have to call all the family members or others that who you want to invite, communicate with them and make the arrangement which restaurants you are going or how many people or how everyone is going. Then you have to come and look at your vehicle, whether one vehicle will be able to accommodate all and you realize that there is a little problem with the vehicle. So this is twilight. Nanak says, you cannot become religious in an ordinary way. You, or you are born in a Hindu family or Christian family. And these days, throughout the world, we have the concept of Sunday morning church. So people go dress up and go to their places of worship. By doing so, Nanak says, you do not become religious. Every moment something or the other happens, a particular circumstance and situation happens, incident takes place, you remember something, are you in harmony with it? You are expecting something to happen but that does not happen, you are upset with that. 
you are expecting somebody to come and make a payment to you but that person does not you are upset with it you lose your brain you say things against that nanak says religious person is one who understands the cosmic law everything is happening because of a certain mechanism if there is an understanding if there is a trust and you know that nothing goes wrong in the existence if something is happening it is bound to happen when autumn comes it is necessary in the scheme of the existence when spring comes once again it is necessary in the scheme of existence the moment you start flowing with the cosmic law your life will be meaningful in everything every circumstance every situation you see the invisible hands of the divine why it happened sometimes you are caught in a moment of unconsciousness that is a moment to see that at this particular point you miss something such moments come for us also if i miss a moment it is natural and it gives me it is it can be understood with a simple example you set your gps system to go somewhere you engage in a particular talk while you are driving all of a sudden you miss a turn now you cannot reverse and turn so you take you continue and your gps system will recalculate the route and everything that may be necessary at that moment so when things like this happen you know it is for the process of learning my purpose is to learn on my own and share my experience with those that come in contact with me if that particular mistake did not happen how can i understand the situation of the other look at the day to day functioning how many circumstances and situations that come on a moment to moment basis that you do not agree at all and when you do not accept those moments when things are not happening the way you want remember your will cannot happen even a person like jesus who is considered to be son of god he was trying to impose his wish and that did not happen in the end he says father why have you forsaken me the same very moment a thought comes to his mind and he says let thy will be done and that very moment jesus is no more son of mary and joseph no more son of man instead he becomes son of god nanak says the moment you start flowing with the existence your will merges with the will of god the individual ego dissolves in the vastness of the ocean then you are religious your life will be meaningful each time you are going to commit a mistake an admonition comes this you ignore you remain ignorant and unconscious there is no sin and you will never come across any sinner in whom such admonitions do not i have heard a sufi story there was a master named baiji bistami in his neighborhood lived a criminal the man was thief deceit a murderer he had committed all kinds of crime the entire village was inflicted by his atrocities one day during his prayers 
by jeet ask god to remove such a person from the earth that is what we normally do if you are inflicted by a particular person you pray let god punish that person husbands do for their wives wife do their for their husbands and so on and so forth suddenly bajit heard a voice within bajit when i am not yet fed up with this man's atrocity then how can you and when i have not lost faith in him then how can you lose faith in him but our wisdom is we consider ourselves to be wise instead of improving upon ourselves we go on improving the others the husbands want to improve the wives wives want to improve the husbands children wants parents to adjust to their ways and means parents want the children to accept their wishes and there is chaos we are the cause of chaos but we consider ourselves to be religious continue to do our prayers we have psalms that let my all the enemies be removed if god has created everyone how can there be one person your enemy and other your friend nanak sings alone and that is why he calls god as hukmi one who has created this cosmic law who is at the helm of this cosmic law and everything is happening because of him everything is happening because of him he nanak says all that comes comes as his command but this remains hidden deep down in your unconsciousness we do not understand the reason why this particular circumstance and situation is come why is this person in your opinion behaving in this particular way there has to be a reason he speaks from unconscious therefore before beginning anything listen to such small voices and when your life moves according to bliss certainly it is the outcome of bliss if you ignore this voice and turn your back to worship then you are creating a self erected hell nanak says once you have achieved this key infinite doors of possibility open for you if a particular circumstance and situation that comes and you accept it as it is nanak says infinite doors and possibilities open the secret remains hidden deep within a child comes with this key every child comes with this key however in the process of growth your education your you try to impose your ideas onto the child this key is lost your education system adorns you with degrees and keeps you incapable of making you a balanced and harmonious human being your education system develops intellect many thoughts are imposed and thus the key is lost nanak says this art of listening is secret art of listening to the inner voice is meditation meditation is not torturing your body or concentration instead it is the art of listening to the inner voice to understand the divine will and then allow life to flow according to this inner voice is the essence of meditation at long nanak is ecstatic he is ecstatic because of his own understanding he is flowing with the cosmic law and it is because of that nanak has a different kind of understanding nanak understands the essence 
he has discovered the key and this is his methodology now for all those who follow the inward journey listens to the small voice that every moment cautions you to flow with that is the very essence of meditation nanak says he is concerned about the entire creation just as you have a family of four children some other cousins nephews and nieces are living are you not concerned about all those people for whom you have to cook the food for whom you have to provide the shelter for whom you have to provide the source of living and you provide you prepare the meals not a common meal that everyone can eat you prepare if you are a really loving person you prepare things according to the taste buds of everyone when i do the cooking at home i have to keep in mind the taste of different people for instance a particular vegetable can be cooked in different ways let's take eggplant in trinidad and india also we roast the eggplant on the open fire and then remove the skin then in the middle east we make a dish out of that in north india punjabis make a dish that is known as this mashed roasted eggplant seasoned with spices onion garlic and things like these this is one way the other way is you can cook eggplant in a different way gujaratis cook begun that that is how they call and potato vegetable is spiced now in your house when you are cooking your food someone likes the eggplant cooked in this way the other likes the eggplant cooked in the other way for convenience we cook we provide the things one way that we like not according to the likes and dislikes of the people that are there couple times it happened i have been asked why am i cooking the at this particular vegetable in two ways i said you have to remember that one of the person does not like likes this vegetable to be cooked this way and the other likes the other way so you are taking care of the needs taste buds of the others you are concerned about everyone someone is convalescing he have a sore throat so you have something else boiled for that person you have a special tea made for that person so that his throat gets better a real loving person does that god is loving he loves the entire creation he is ready to lift you and that he does to lift you to your realm when all the family members gather around the dining table and they see things prepared according to their taste buds you have lifted you out of your own love and concern for everyone prepared the dishes for their liking are you not teaching those people something are you not raising those people who are gathered around the dining table to your realm to your realm of understanding to your realm of taking care of everyone however god is not in a hurry it is your choice to remain deviated or not he is unconcerned because he knows that everything it may happen this bud was supposed to blossom today but it did not it this does not mean that he is neglecting or is indifferent this is how you understand 
if something is delaying, if the current is not flowing through the electrical equipment, maybe there is a shortage. The connections is there, you try to see the connections, if there is anything shorting, that is creating that problem and the moment you adjust it, clean the terminals or something, the current begins to flow. Nanak uses this as the methodology. This is the expression of your total transformation. It is non-aggressive and the, Nanak says God cannot be aggressive. He will go on waiting for you. I cannot impose my ways and means. You come here, this is most important. That out of your love, you come to attend to these sessions, but the progress depends on how much you are paying attention to my words, how much you are capable of listening to those and putting into practice. That depends on you. I have nothing to do with that. So if out of 10 people, one grows faster than the other, it has nothing to do with me. The talk is the same. What you understand and what you put into your practice, that is your outlook. But I am concerned about you. I am concerned about everyone. God cannot be aggressive. So too a master is not aggressive. He, is go he goes on waiting for you. It is like the sun knocking at your door and you are sitting inside watching your television show. The door is closed and it is not so that seeing the door closed out of anger, the sunlight will say, no, I am not being bothered about this man. His door is closed. I'll go somewhere else. It does not happen that way, but you will do that. Somehow somebody convinced you to go and see this particular person with whom you were antagonistic. You went to the person's house or made a call, one call, two call, no response. Observe your reaction. But God will wait for the door to open and as soon as the door opens, the sun enters because he is concerned about you. The entire existence is pulsating for you and existence is waiting for your inner blossoming. And if you are still delaying, he is not worried. He knows all your shortcomings. Still he is hopeful for you. Still he remains blissful and continues to expand. Such is the nature of that which we call God. And Hindus call this as consciousness, which continues to expand. Continues to expand and that is why they said, Aham Brahmasmi, I am ever expanding consciousness. This human intelligence cannot understand. Such understanding is important in the process of transformation. For Nanak, the world, the outer world and the inner are not separate. The two are not separate. Together the inner and outer create, constitute the methodology. Inner is the reflection of the outer and outer is the reflection of the inner. If you want to put your emotions in the right perspective, you can begin your journey from within or from without. But it is always easy to begin the journey where you are. Now, this particular call has many people from different places. You have to come to attend to this meditation session. 
you begin your journey wherever you are wherever you are from there you connect and you are connected to me great you have to go to a particular place for a concert people will begin their journey from wherever they are someone is living in the east north south west 100 2 miles 3 miles 4 miles away everyone will begin the journey from wherever they are so is the level of consciousness you cannot journey with my level of consciousness or with that of the other and this i understand nanak says god understands so if it is easier for you to correct the outer life inner can begin to be in place to someone a methodology is given for love to blossom to act in this particular way while to the other in a different way when a patient goes to the doctor for similar problem he prescribes different medicines to those nanak says when a child is sick take utmost care however there is no need to remain worried do the most of what you may and nanak says when he is the inner guide how can you really remain disturbed outwardly remain in the world but deep within allow the remembrance to remain like an undercurrent whatsoever will happen will happen according to the divine will but i am continuing my journey i come this morning for the meditation session there is a little disturbance problems which i have to face while i am editing this audio many kind of sounds or dropping someone trying to connect sending the messages which i have to look from time to time these are beyond my control but it is happening it is for me to accept it or not to accept if i accept i am not disturbed neither the talk or its flow but what happens in your face for me this particular situation has come for me to explain how does things happen even in the life of the masters the awakened ones but they are not disturbed their trust is at most if something is happening there is a reason for it and if this did not happen you could not see that the continuity or the flow that was there in the beginning the thought content there is no discontinuity even if i am explaining in relation to this dropping of the pole but it is a way to communicate to give you the message that sometimes your connection your call is dropped you get disturbed no it should not be whatsoever is happening on the surface accept it in its totality and deep within let there be an undercurrent that nothing will happen without the grace of the master without the grace of god experiment with this and when you experiment only then you know the moment i understood this life is a benediction despite physical constraints i have certain physical constraints but i have not allowed these to embitter or sour anything for me the moment i understood this life is benediction despite physical constraints you go to your workplace but deep within remains maintain a distance let there be a gap between your work and your being let your work your action be an act in this vast stage that we call as world let this be a play of 
but you are no more the doer. This is the art of being the actor in the play of life, performing your role to the best of your knowledge without any concern about its actions. You have learned the secret. An actor in a movie or the stage is not concerned of the death of his dear ones or his own. For him this is an act. So too the wise understand this and therefore live the life with this understanding and this is why Nanak says that he is unperturbed, unconcerned, unconcerned and is always ever blissful in whatsoever happens, whatsoever circumstance and situation.